The work is being done by a company based at Cambridge University's Department of Engineering. Called Magnify, it has come up with a way of magnetising superconducting material, which can create magnets ten times as strong as conventionally produced ones. Because the superconducting magnet is very dense, it can store much more power, which means it could potentially reduce the scale of all sorts of machines, from electric motors for cars to wind turbines. Magnify was set up about a year and a half ago to exploit uh, superconducting magnets. We make the biggest superconducting magnets in the world, the strongest superconducting magnets I should say, not the biggest, because they're actually very small, and they have many, many different applications. Um, ships, planes, automobiles, wind, wave, tides, MRI, NMR, you name it, they can do it. Any large-scale industrial machine which uses magnets, and there are a lot of them, needs this technology. The system developed by Dr. Coombs uses an engine to convert heat. As long as the superconductor stays cold, it will provide powerful, stable magnetic fields. It's very heavy physics, I'm afraid, but it's, what we have is we have a superconducting material here, which is a ceramic, and this superconducting material is grown in, an, in a furnace over a period of about a week or two, and when it's finished, this thing can carry about a million amps. And what we do is make it carry the million amps. Dr. Coombs described how the process works. Here we have some liquid nitrogen. This is a fairly freely available material and costs approximately the same as milk uh, per pint. And that boils at 77 Kelvin and that will make this superconductor superconducting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the superconductor in the liquid nitrogen. It takes a few seconds to uh, cool down and once it's cooled down it will be superconducting. You can see it bubbling away. When it's finished bubbling away then we know it's down to temperature. When the superconductor is cooled down and has got down to its superconducting temperature, it will be able to co conduct electricity and it will then be able to form as a ma uh, function as a magnet. It's still bubbling away in there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this magnet and I'm basically going to make it float. I'm going to stick it on top of the superconductor and I'm going to make it float. And it's now cooled down, so we can bring this out and stick it on the bench and we make the magnet float on top. The research has been backed by the East of England Development Agency, which has provided a grant to the Cambridge team. It's 170k, it's through the East of England Development Agency, which is extremely good. It's very, very active in the Cambridge area and in the East Anglian area, full stop. And they're very, very supportive of businesses like mine. Um, and frankly, without them, we really would been a pickle, I think. The EEDA support has allowed Magnify to understand which companies are seriously interested in developing these compact, efficient machines using these magnets. This has helped convert an innovative idea into a commercial success, with several orders now in place.